Hello everyone, welcome to the EKDA platform and this is Ravin Jangit here, your electrical faculty. In this video, I'm going to talk about the high voltage direct current transmission system and the topic is your early discoveries. So, I'm talking about early discoveries. Early discoveries, in the early discoveries, I can talk about at the earliest time, at the earliest time, we were actually using the DC system. We were actually using the DC system. So at the starting, we are actually using the DC system and at the DC system, it was actually at the low voltages. Voltage. What happens when the industrialization occurs? Industrialization occurs. Then there was a consumption of electricity. Increases. Okay, so due to the industrialization, the consumption of electricity increases. If the consumption increases, you can say demand of electricity also increases. So as the demand increases, you have to increase. As the demand increases, you have to increase your generation. Okay, then your distribution system distribution system and also the transmission system transmission system what happens in the dc system if let us consider this generating station this generating station it can transmit the electricity up to some certain distances certain distances but if we have to transmit but if we have to transmit up to some remote area up to some remote area then we have to use another a generating station so actually that was a costly so in the cost cutting for the cost cutting we are actually use uh, the ac system okay so for uh, different different places if you are using the dc system or the different generating stations so that is actually a cost costly system so for the economical purposes you have come up with another solution that is the ac system for the some distances it can transmit efficiently so now actually i will talk about the demand from the different countries it has been seen that in the developed countries in the developed countries every year every year in the developed countries every year there was increase two times the demand was increasing two times and in the developing countries in the developing countries the demand every five year every five year so demand was increasing two times so in the develop, developing countries it was increasing in every five years what it has been increasing in the developed countries every year okay so this was actually from time to time why people have started to think about the from dc system to the ac system and then you start to think about the dc system again but with the high voltage value now look at this these points are very important so you can i have already told you why ac system come into picture due to the costly nature of your dc system transmission okay now for the transmission of for the transmission of electricity for the transmission of electricity 
for the longer distances, for the longer distances, it was costly. Then we have come up with another system that was AC system. Okay, now this AC system is also working at the low voltage value at the generating side. Low voltage at generating site. Okay, so in the AC system at the generating site, we are actually we are actually having the low voltage value. For increasing the voltage value, we have used the transformer. That is the step up transformer. And then at the low side, we are using the step down transformer. We have to increase the voltage value because for the transmission at the low loss value, low loss value, we have to increase the voltage value because at the voltage increases, losses will decrease. Okay, now then AC system, then we have started to think about DC system. After the time passes, we have started to think about the DC system. But why we have uh, think about the DC system? In the, because in the AC system, there was a disadvantage related with the stability, related with the reactive power, related with the skin effect, related with the Ferranti effect, and more and more other factors were also there that we started to think about the DC system. Then this DC system, this DC system, we have used at the high voltage value, high voltage value, voltage value. But at this time, it is having, it is having or used, it is having or used only for transmission. It means at the generating side, there will be a AC system and at the load side, there will be also a AC system. But for the transmission purposes, but for the transmission purposes, there will be a DC transmission so that you can efficiently transmit the DC, trans DC value because it won't have the, uh, your uh, reactive power because in the AC system, there was a reactive power because due to the reactances or reactive inductances, or you can say reactive capacitances. So there are the reactive losses. So it is also reducing the DC system. Or oh, okay, stability is also increased because it is directly related with delta. I will explain in the further lectures. So I'm just explaining the basic fundamentals from DC to high voltage direct current transmission system. Now, okay, and the station we have used in the high voltage direct current system high voltage direct current system. The converting stations, converting station. In the, actually this converting station consisting the rectifiers and the inverters both. Inverters both. So it is actually using the rectifier, which is actually transmitting from AC to a DC. And inverter from DC to your AC. And this converting station can perform the both the function depending on the alpha angle. I will explain in the further lectures. Okay. Now, in the what happens in the 1880? In 1880, the theory that is engineer from France has come up with high voltage direct current transmission system and his theory adopted in the whole Europe and his theory was adopted in whole Europe and 11 systems Look at this, 11 systems was established. Okay, now people has people have shifted from DC to AC, now AC to DC again. But now what happens? 
in the 1938 in 1938 the theory system your theory system or theory concept was actually dismantled dismantled or dismantled you can say okay now after the development after the development of mercury wall okay look at this mercury wall after the development of mercury wall in the 1954 after the development of mercury wall in the 1954 there was a setup there was a setup for hvdc system between your sweden and outland and outland okay guys that is gotland that is gotland now look at this now so this setup was done but why but why actually in the ac system i have already explained that there was a disadvantage then we started to think about the high voltage direct current transmission system but that is for the transmission system in the ac system but why in the ac system ac system there was a disadvantages advantages what are the disadvantages of this ac system you can i'm writing the basic fundamental of the conversion from we have come up with another solution that actually we are using now the high voltage direct current transmission system so there was a stability you can say the reactive power reactive power you can say the reactive power you can say your ferrant effect ferranty effect and also the skin effect ferranty effect in which the receiving side voltage is increased as per your sending side voltage it means the receiving side voltage is more than the sending side voltage okay and in the skin effect the electricity is actually distributed around the conductors due to which the effective resistance will increase and many things will happen in the ac system that, and that causes also causes the losses and the coronal losses can also be seen here okay and also there was a problem related with the power control and there was a problem related with the power control so these were the disadvantages due to which we have come up with high voltage direct current transmission system so until 1970 the converter station were using the mercury wall were using the mercury wall okay so up to the 1970 the converter station were using the mercury wall then we have come with another solution that is the thyristor and efficiency of conversion also increases pulsation decreases harmonics decreases so we are using a high voltage direct current transmission system for the for the efficient purposes and the efficient transmission okay it has been seen that it has been seen that highest to transmission highest transmission voltage was voltage was approximately 600 kilo volt and if you talk about the installed capacity installed capacity that was more than 75000 kilowatt okay now look so you can say it become so you can say it is becoming becoming more and more attractive more more 
attractive to use to use dc system okay so we have changed our uh, the basic transmission from dc to the ac and then ac to dc now in this time the ac and dc have come up with a solution that at the generating side and at the distributing side the uh, ac system was using but for the transmission purposes we are actually using the high voltage direct current so this is all about the basic discoveries and thank you